All right, so I'm going to start building a quiz with App Inventor, so a quiz app. And, and I'm going to do a, a quiz on pre, uh, U.S. presidents, but you could use this same model for, for any kind of quiz um, in any subject, really. Okay, so I'm going to start, and all we're going to worry about, we're not going to worry about answering. We're just going to worry about uh, the questions and, and be able to show the questions and let the user kind of rifle through by clicking a Next button. Okay, so I'm going to have this first label, I'm going to rename it the question label. And this is where we're going to show the text for the question. Okay. And I'm going to put in question one here, but that's not going to end up being there because we're going to we're going to add the questions from a list of, of data that we're going to build. And we'll do that in the blocks editor. So anyway, to start off, I've got this label which which is going to show a question, and I'm going to have a button right below it. And the text is just going to say next. And I'm going to rename it the next button. Okay. And so I've got this app. I'm going to change the screen title and I'm going to call it President's Quiz. Okay. And so we've got this simple app. And my, my first behavior I want to build is just to go through a bunch of questions and, and let the user click next to get to get through them. Okay. So I'm going to go to the blocks editor. I also have an emulator running, and uh, we'll set that up and and we'll go ahead and connect it so we can show um, the emulator once we start kind of building stuff. You know, right now it should just show just our label or whatever. Um, so let's start off and and with this quiz, it's you know this is the first app we've seen, uh, you know, at least in the sequence where you've got data. So we're going to build a list. Okay, so I'm going to define a variable. Um, so our questions are kind of, in some sense, hidden, right? So I'm going to call this the question list. Okay, and with lists, there's this block called make a list. So I can basically say I'm going to have a variable, and it's going to have a bunch of items, and it's just one variable, but it's kind of a uh, uh, an array or you know a bunch of spreadsheet cells is, is one way you can think of it okay and remember variables are hidden so they don't show up in our user interface unless we unless we put them in there okay and, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do so the first thing I'm going to do is just build the questions for our for our quiz and and, and the first question here uh, is uh, which president um, implemented the New Deal, and let's just say during the Great Depression. You know, these days there's maybe a new Great Depression, but um, there's our there's our first question. So anyway, this is just some data. So it's a text block, and I'm going to make it the first item on my list. And you'll notice another slot opens up. Okay, so I'm going to add another text, and my second question is, which president? Oops, sorry. Uh, which poor typing? Which president granted China formal uh, recognition in 1979? Okay, another good president question. Let me make sure I got my typos out of there. So not 1989, 1979. So that's my second question. And I'll add one more third question, and that one's going to be which president resigned due to the Watergate scandal? Okay, and that'll be my third question. So, like I said, this could be a list of anything, three text blocks. In this case, I've got my specific questions to a U.S. President's quiz. Okay, so first thing we want to worry about is let's make sure the first question shows up in our label when the app starts. Okay, and there's a very important event, which is screen1.initialize. And this block is used, it gets triggered right when the app begins. Okay, so kind of, you know, all the stuff that we've set up in the component designer, that's going to happen, right? So this question one will appear, this next button, 
and you know we see that you know already but when the app begins when we actually run it anything we do in here is also going to happen okay and really what I want to do is I want to grab the first item in my quiz and stick it in my label so I'm going to grab question label and I want to set its text okay so here's the set question label dot text so I want to put something in question label and here's my emulator I want to put something right right in there and uh, sorry let me let me kind of resize our um, window here uh, what's going on let me go a little further there it is so I'm going to resize our blocks editor so we'll be able to see the emulator at the same time okay so what do I want to stick in my label I want to stick the first thing now I could just copy this block but if my list changes right if I if I change these guys I want to make it so whatever the first item is gets put in here. So I kind of need to be a little more abstract. And what I'm going to do is go to the list um, block or list uh, folder and grab select list item. Okay, so I want to select an item. The list I want to select from is called question list. I have to go to my definitions to find a reference to the variable. And it'll say global question list. So I want to select an item from this list. And in this case, what I want to select is the first item. So when the app starts, select the first item and stick it in to my quiz. Okay, if we rerun this app, so I'm in live testing, so I can always reconnect and, and have it show um, in the emulator what will happen right when the app starts. So what's going to happen is App Inventor will select this bunch of text stick it in my label and this is all going to happen actually before you even see anything so when the screen comes up it should have my first question up here so there it is and uh, my screen appears and as you can see my first question is in there so we've 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 kind of set things up right we're not dealing with answers or anything yet but we've got a real simple ui our goal is to be able to you know click next and walk through the questions but all we've done so far is no matter what's in this first slot we're gonna show it as the first question 